before we get started, let's just talk about what we're doing here. I'm going to create a automated tone in the Arduino that's going to send that tone to my radio. My radio is going to transmit that tone. And for now, we're just going to do a, a beeping tone. What we send isn't important. I just want you to get started with Arduino and, and be able to say, okay, I did a thing on Arduino and I was able to put it through my radio. This is a basis for creating a radio beacon, uh, which can consist of Morse code. It can consist of SOS. It can consist of your GPS coordinates. You could put anything you want into this and I'll cover those in subsequent videos. But the meat of it is this is how we get a tone. And then if people like this video, I will expand on that. We'll do a beacon. We'll do uh, an SOS kind of a thing. Lots of stuff you can do with basically the same format here. All right, I'm not going to show you how to set up Arduino. You can find that on YouTube really quickly. Once you get Arduino installed, you're going to go to File, New Sketch, and you get something like this. It gives you a shell to work with. And you'll see that my entire program for this particular experiment is just filling in this area here. Okay, so all I've put in is this. Everything else is there for you. So you're just going to copy what I have into your loop. So within the loop, between the curly braces here, we have tone, which is a built-in feature. Uh, and in parentheses, we have 11, which is going to be the name of the pin, the number of the pin, which I'll show you. It's going to be the output for the signal. The signal is going to be 500 hertz tone. You can set that for anything you want. The duration of the tone is going to be 100. Uh, then it goes into a delay over here, which also says 100. I haven't figured out why, but I have to have the delay of 100 twice. And I, I don't understand, but this is what works, so just copy it. Then another delay to separate the tones from each other. So it's going to make this tone um, with 100, um, uh, a duration of 100 at 500 hertz. And then there's going to be a break between the tone, and then it repeats. And then there's a break, and it repeats. So this is a loop. So we should get like a beeping sound. So I'm going to send it to the Arduino, and we'll take a look at that. All right, so for now, I'm just going to use the speaker. Now, you're going to be using pin 11 and ground. And when you have an Arduino in front of you, you'll be able to see that a lot better. I have my uh, signal coming out of 11, and I've used a red wire. And then ground is traditionally black, and you're going to plug that into ground. These are the only two wires. This is connected to the computer, that's it. That's all we're doing, very simple. There's really not a lot to think about here. Now the sketch that I just showed you results in this sound on the speaker. So it's that tone just repeated. And what we want to do is we want to get that tone to go in one radio and come out the other. Red to red, black to black. So we're going in here, out here. How I have this set up is um, this one is on Vox at a very low setting, probably Vox 1. And that way when it receives the signal, it sends it. Um, out through the antenna and this radio is receiving it and I have um, I probably have squelch wouldn't really matter at this distance but I have squelch set pretty low but it's a pretty strong signal and so that's all we're doing instead of putting it into the speaker we're putting it right into the radio and it's automated because we're using Vox and squelch so doesn't really accomplish much does it yet what if you were in a situation where you are on your own, you know, hiking, you're abandoned, and you know, everybody's got that fantasy scenario where uh, they're out in some wilderness and they use amateur radio to contact civilization for a rescue. Well, what you can do is you can basically make a, a beacon out of the Arduino. Rather than just sending a blinky tone, we can send an SOS pattern with GPS coordinates. We can make just a simple radio beacon, and radio beacons are used in amateur radio a lot. Um, for a sport called uh, fox hunting where um, we'll take this uh, Arduino and hook it up to a radio and put it somewhere in some secluded area and the goal then is for teams to be able to triangulate where this receiver is or where this transmitter is um, throughout a city or a countryside um, by triangulation they can eventually figure out where this thing's hiding they call that fox hunting and all you would need is a tone like that that would be a perfect that'd be a fine fox hunt tone um, 
lots of things you can do with it, but the idea is just let's get some let's get something out of your Arduino into your radio, and if people like that, I'm going to move to the next step, which is going to be an SOS pattern that you could add coordinates to. I'll just do the SOS, and I'll probably do just a simple uh, radio beacon with a call sign. Uh, ID identifier, which is what you would do for fox hunting. You'd have a tone and a call sign in Morse code, tone, call sign in Morse code, so that you're meeting the legal requirements of transmitting your uh, call sign from your radio. So, uh, th again, just the idea is to get you using Arduino with your radio. Um, it doesn't always have to look like this. Uh, I Traditionally, I use this guy. It's in a little shell here, and I can plug a battery into it and I can make connectors for whatever I need to do. And with the battery in the Arduino, it's very portable. Um, it's, just, it's as portable as a handheld and it would be battery powered. So that's how you get a tone into your radio. And uh, I hope that uh, inspires you to do something a little bit more advanced with Arduino. I will next do something with maybe a, a rescue pattern SOS um, in the next video for that, 7.3.